Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, as you know, the new era of U.S. space exploration will involve partnerships between NASA, commercial space companies, and international entities. And these partnerships will require careful coordination to ensure safe operations as we establish a sustained lunar presence. Standard timing systems are vital for, precise, for precise coordination and navigation on Earth and in space. And while we synchronize timing on Earth using the Coordinated Universal Time, or UTC, the moon and other celestial bodies need their own timing standard due to the differences in gravity, distance from Earth, and other factors. Specifically, to someone on the moon, UTC will appear to lag by about 58 microseconds each day. And while that might not seem like a lot, the timing discrepancy can present significant challenges for precision navigation, space situational awareness, scientific research, and other operations. This amendment, based on my Celestial Time Standardization Act, directs NASA to lead the development of a Celestial Time Standard, including the study, definition, and implementation of a coordinated lunar time. It instructs NASA to collaborate with the Department of Commerce, Defense, State, and Transportation, and consult with the private sector, academia, and international standard-setting bodies. My amendment also requires NASA to submit a report to Congress detailing a strategy for celestial time standardization within, year, within two years of enactment. I thank the uh, committee leadership for allowing the amendment to be uh, put forward, and I urge my colleagues to support this amendment to improve interoperability in space exploration and further establish U.S. leadership in standard setting. Thank you, and I yield back.